Hi, Kid Step friends. My name is Miss Crystal, and this is our friend Pip the Penguin. We are so excited to worship with you guys this morning. Why don't you stand to your feet and let's praise Jesus together. This song is Miracle of Love. Now you guys, this song has a lot of jumping and dancing, so I want to see you guys getting warmed up. Can you guys jump up and down? Good job. Now this is all about what Jesus did for us, that he came and died on the cross for our sins. So you guys, as we sing this song out to him, let's worship Jesus and tell him how much we love him. Okay, let's sing, it's a new day. It's a new day. With this sacrifice, with this sacrifice, death has been defeated. The Son of God, risen King, bringing us into God's family. Oh, let's proclaim our saving grace. It's Jesus. Let's sing some O's. This miracle of love. On the third day, let me see your fingers. On the third day, the third day, the stone was rolled away. Mm, Christ the Lord is here to say, praise His name. Sing this miracle of love. worshiping Jesus. That was great singing, friends. You can go ahead and have a seat. This month, we're doing a new prayer activity together called Praying in Color. Praying in Color is just simply a way for us to talk to God. What you can do is with a blank sheet of paper or in your activity books, and we're just going to spend time drawing out our prayers. You can draw anything you want. Maybe you want to draw your family to pray for them. Maybe you want to draw your preschool and pray for it. Or maybe you want to draw something else for God. God loves when we spend time with Him. And the very best part is God is always with us. So He is watching us draw our prayers. We're going to play a song. And that's when you take time to draw a picture for Jesus. Again, you can draw anything you want for God.
gather here to give you thanks for all the good things you have done. We set our gaze on your grace, your love so constant, love so strong. to know if you want to read a story out of his new Beginner's Bible. You do? Awesome! If you have your Beginner's Bible, open it up to page 128 with us. Let's read our story together. Joshua and the Spies After Moses died, Joshua became the leader of the Israelites. God led them into the Promised Land. He led them to a city called Jericho. The city was protected by high walls. Still, two spies found a way into the city. They went to Rahab's house. The king of Jericho ordered his soldiers to capture the men. Rahab hid the men on her roof. When the soldiers arrived, she said, The spies have already gone. If you hurry, you may catch them. So the soldiers ran off to find them. Thank you for helping us, the spies told her. When we come back, we promise to save you and your family. Then Rahab helped the spies escape. The Israelites were finally almost to the promised land, and so Joshua sent two spies out to check it out. When the spies got to the promised land, the soldiers were trying to capture them. But Rahab hid them and helped them get safely back to Joshua. 
The spies thanked Rahab for helping them and promised that when they came back to take over the promised land, that they would keep Rahab's family safe. Do you think that the spies were trustworthy? Great question, Pip. Pip, you wondered what does the word trustworthy mean? Trustworthy means that the spies could be trusted to keep their word or to follow through on their promise. Someone who is trustworthy is honest and always tells the truth. In our story next week, we'll see that the spies were trustworthy and they kept Rahab's family safe because she helped them. What do you think, Pip? Should we watch this week's Bible video with our friends? Great, let's watch it together. Stories of the Bible, Rahab and the Spies. This is Rahab. Hi. Rahab lived in the town of Jericho in the Promised Land. Rahab was not an Israelite and she made bad choices. Huh? But God had a plan for Rahab, even though she was a sinner. Now God told his people, the Israelites, hey, that's us. to go into the promised land. So Joshua sent two spies to search the land around the city of Jericho. The two spies came to Rahab's house to stay the night. The king of Jericho heard that there were spies in his city, so he sent orders for Rahab to bring them out. But Rahab hid the spies and told the king's men that it was true that the men were at her house, but she did not know where they were now. She told the king's men to go quickly to find the spies because they could not have gone far. Go now! Oh, right. So the king's men rushed out to the city in pursuit of the Israelite spies. All the while, the Israelites hid on Rahab's roof. So Rahab went to them and said, I know the Lord has given you this land. We have heard of the great acts that God has done for you. Your God is the God of all the heavens and the earth. So please swear to me that you will be kind to my family. The spies agreed to this, and Rahab helped them escape from the city. Before they left, they told Rahab to tie a scarlet rope to the window. Yeah! Whoa! Oops! Uh -huh. yeah. This rope would serve as a mark for Rahab's house and would remind the Israelites of their promise to her. Thank you! Oh, thank you! And so the spies were on their way. For three days, they hid from the king's men who were looking for them. Finally, they returned to Joshua and told them all they had seen. Rahab was remembered for her faithfulness, for she had given a friendly welcome to the spies and put her trust in the one true God. This story is a great reminder for us that God is trustworthy too. We know that God is always honest and always tells the truth. We know that when God makes a promise, he keeps his promises. God is trustworthy. What do you think? Before we go, should we sing one more song? Great, stand to your feet and let's sing it together. This song is called Brave. It's all about how God's love makes us brave. We're gonna start by singing, No, I won't be afraid, for you are with me. Let's go. No, I won't be afraid, you are with me. You are right beside me every day. Even when it feels like everything's gone.
I was lost and afraid till you found me. Awesome job. It was so much fun getting to learn together today how God is trustworthy. Before we say goodbye, let's pray together. Praying is just talking to God like we talk to our best friend. So let's close our eyes and bow our heads to keep us from being distracted and talk to God. Dear God, we thank you that you are trustworthy. We love you so much. Amen. We hope you can join us again next week as we continue worshiping and learning together. See you then. Bye, friends.